Hey guys, just uh, going to give you a little uh, brief tutorial on uh, how I set up my Quantum Pro V2 goggles with my um, Isheen uh, Pro DVR from Banggood. Um, so what I did, now what you see here is my receiver. And I put this little toggle switch in here, two-way toggle switch, so that I could actually swap the video um, between uh, receiver video um, and uh, playback from the DVR. So right now what you're seeing there is straight from the receiver and I'll flick the switch and it'll switch to uh, DVR. You can see in the corner there it's got the record feature and whatnot. Um, press a button on the DVR. You get the, get the menu so, um, yeah, it, it worked out really well. It took a little bit of figuring. Um, so what I did here was I actually created a bit of a schematic for you. And if you want, you could pause the video, take a look at it, and I'll explain it in detail here. Um, <clears throat> what you see here is the receiver, obviously. Um, and I'm only using one out. The other one I'm going to use for my headphones. So uh, the DVR audio out here, I just, I don't need to listen to playback audio. So I just cut those off and left them. Uh, but I did want to record um, audio. So uh, what I have here is uh, the plug coming out has a mono audio. So audio and ground and video and ground. And then I used just a two-way toggle switch. It was just a spare one I had left over from, um, I believe it was my old FlySky transmitter where I put in a, a three-way toggle and just kept that two-way toggle. So um, what you need to do out of the receiver, you bring your video in to one of the pins, but on that same pin, you also need to use your video in that way your DVR is always getting receiver video. Um, the middle is the common on this switch. So that's always gonna go straight to the goggles. Okay, don't mind this little guy here, I messed up. This is not a connection. So this wire just goes straight through and this one goes straight through. So then your video out comes down to the other toggle switch. So that way you can flick the switch and it'll go to your Pro DVR source. You flick it back, it'll go to your receiver source. Um, video grounds aren't specific to each feed. Uh, they can all be tied together. So that's what I did here. So video ground out, video ground in. They're all connected. Those are little connections, those dots. And then the goggles video ground. It, uh, it, um, it's all connected together and receiver ground as well. So, and then with audio, they're just basically a straight connection to your audio um, in. So that's it guys, it's actually not that bad to do. And I'll show you how I physically um, set it up on here. I actually had uh, an old hockey stick. So I just, uh, I cut a section off of it, uh, an old broken hockey stick. Uh, Bauer Vapor with grip so it's actually rubberized and it stays in there nicely and I uh, I just mounted the switch in there I hot glued everything like there's such small wires that with some fidgeting and whatnot you you really don't want those to to break uh, especially mid-flight um, <clears throat> so that's how I mounted that and then on the bottom what you see here is uh, the receiver connection so that's going in all right and there's a bunch of connections in there and then down here is the video uh, connection to the goggles this other one is the power that's the power right here uh, so it's pretty simple it's nice and clean uh, which is what I was after and uh, I'm just gonna use this AV out 2 here for my headphones I have an adapter for that one, and then they're gonna go straight in there. So, uh, and this, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, um, 
These are very picky with five volts. Uh, they have to have five volts. So uh, this in here is just one of those, they're like a dollar fifty on eBay or Banggood. Um, it's a little regulator um, that I wired up. Uh, so I got my 3S battery power uh, split off. Um, where did I do that? That's like right here where my finger is. I uh, spliced it in because the goggles come with so many different power cables. Uh, this one I was using had one extra lead that I wasn't using, so I cut the end off of it and spliced it just to another another uh, power cable that uh, extended into uh, the regulator. And I have it set for exactly 5 volts, and it outputs exactly 5 volts to my black and red here. And it's just 3M double side sticky taped on there, it's very solid. And uh, it sits in there nicely. So. Hopefully that's some help to, to somebody and, um, you know, we'll see a little bit of, a little bit of uh, video here quickly. Sorry, I just put the phone down, don't mind me. So I have my little RV90 powered up and inside there, you see the camera, you know, and then I can switch to my DVR and uh, hit the record button you see it recording uh, one issue I've had here though is if I switch uh, back to my uh, receiver feed it stops recording so you're gonna want to uh, be in your receiver feed I guess when it sees a video interruption it'll just automatically stop recording uh, you'll notice the light here isn't blinking anymore. And then when I switch back, you'll see in the bottom right corner there it's not recording anymore. And then when I go to re review it, you'll see that uh, it is just a very short clip. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so you'll, you'll want to just make sure you're in your receiver. Um, Feed, and then you'll want to hit record uh, on your uh, on your DVR. So uh, yeah. Anyways, so and the main reason you want to do this is because the video that comes out of the DVR, you don't really want to be flying with that because it's got a little bit more latency and. Um, Oh, sorry, my quad's been idle a little too long here. All right. So, yeah, it's got a little bit more latency in it, and uh, the quality actually isn't as good. So, but what do you want for 20 bucks? All right, guys, any questions? Um, leave them in the comments, and I'll give you another little shot here of the rudimentary schematic I drew up. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you have any issues or what you think of this video. Thanks.